Again, at Pat's house in that aforementioned run by Zane, he did beat Crush in loser semis in a tight game five set. And already, this is where Zane's bread and butter comes in. Just edge guarding space animals. He'll do it every day of the week. Yeah, that's one of those things I was talking to Infinite Numbers about before I came up here. He is so good at just destroying spaces by the ledge. And he actually had an opportunity to go out there and just reverse a B to secure a kill, but didn't. And now Crush trying to bring this back. And at this percent, so difficult for, for Mark to get kills on Fox. I like that. Just double jump, gets the, the auto cancel with the laser and is able to get that up throw into that conversion. Really good stuff from Crush. Really trying to find his way in neutral. But neutral air from Dane is going to push into the ledge and a nice forward smash to close out that edge guard. Yep. He just basically read that he was just going to go right there. Yeah. That when, uh, It only covered one option, but it was the option that needed to be covered the most. Ooh. <laughs> there we go. Scoops from the ledge knows exactly when he's going to jump. And Crush really easily able to tie up stocks just like that. Not really sweating too far just yet as we're only in game one. Yeah. Oh, and again, so that's a couple times that we've seen Crush miss those techs off of those nares at low percent. And Zane's done a good job of just get the F smash to push him off stage. He hasn't been able to capitalize on a full stock yet. But, I mean, he's just going to keep grooving with those edge cancels. Yeah, that was ah. crisp. Ooh. <laughs> Caught me smiling. Now, there we go. I was oh. waiting for when Crush was going to whip out the lasers, but literally <laughs> the exact moment he does, Zane is ready with a tipper forward smash, sending him to the blast zone extremely quickly. Yep. And great spacing by Crush to get around the down throw, down tilt. I would have appreciated it, but here we are. Crush still alive. Yeah, I like this. He's doing a good job of holding center stage. Really, oh, nice, beautiful shine grab to get that conversion. Sends the back air in reverse, which is unfortunate for him, but he still has the positioning. Goes real deep. Yeah. Gets the shine, closes it out. Steph Curry from the parking lot, he just was not scared at all. Knew that he had no option and just shined him. Right, what else goes for the up throw up air? Not quite able to get the full conversion, but he still has quite the dominance in the neutral game right now. Yeah, basically Zane has just been poached out by the ledge. He'll throw out a hitbox or like a grab or something, and then Crush will immediately come in and punish. It's been, you know, slim pickings for Zane in terms of pot, like combo starters right. by the ledge. You know, of course, as a Marth player, he's going to be looking for those grabs. But of course, for Crush, right? You just kind of wait around, look to see if you can bait it out, get your punish that way. And through this kind of war of attrition back and forth, this tug of war to see who's going to bite first and get that punish. Well, OK. Oh, he fade. I thought everyone and their mom probably thought a down air, was, edge cancel down air was coming. Mm -hmm. But Zane just electing to do nothing instead. Worked out really well. And this is really close. Oh, wow, that forward air retaliation lets him get back to the stage without getting threatened by Crush's aerial. But Crush really looking for something, maybe a shield poke? Ooh. Oh, that is pretty greedy by Zane. Yep. Yeah, I was a little scared for a second there. He did go for the up throw up air. I was like, ooh, you know, smash out is a factor. Definitely had the option to up smash out of shield, but it doesn't matter. He's still able to close out the conversion and seal out the stock. Yep. Oh, a little off by Zane. Again, just catches him dashing in. Oh, stage spike. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that happens sometimes, man. It's a little cheeky, but we take anything we can get out yeah. here. Yeah, that's big. Zane doesn't want to play with Crush at Crush at 140. He wants to play with Zane at 10 <gasps> so we can oh. get these gifts. <sighs> yeah. Zane's shaking his head, but like deep down, like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I am up one nothing. It's kind of like those, I don't know, it's a bittersweet, right? Like you, you won the game, but yeah. wasn't quite the. Uh, glorious ending you were looking for, but still in the same vein, you know, if, if he played all the correct cards, Crush, you know, put himself in a precarious situation and had to suffer largely for it. Yeah. It's basically like you're in battle and your opponent just shoots themselves in the fight. You're like, Man, I would have liked to gotten the kill, yes, but at the end of the day, I still won. You still won, but I feel like you're deprived of like half the endorphins you normally would have gotten from doing yep. it yourself, you know what I mean? Whew. Wow. <laughs> you got to leave. Uh, speaking of endorphins, Zane feeling himself on the uh, close to the edge Ken combo. Ooh, and he picks himself up a grab. I'm surprised. Generally, Crutch is really good about getting that uh, slide off the eye when he gets knocked off platform like that. Not quite able to get it there, but I'm expecting to see it in the near future. Oh, and after we saw Crush do a great job of avoiding any serious danger at the ledge by speed spot double jumping, Zane got it right back on yeah. Crush. But Crush gets up the stock. Okay, and he's hugging uh -oh. around the platforms. Accidental missed wave land. It's going to cost him an opportunity, but Zane only gets one up air. Nothing too big, but he really needs to be careful. Make sure that tech is crispy and ready to be used at any moment. But of course, mistakes happen in Zane. Great DI by Crush. Yeah, but way out there. Zane easily just goes and gobbles him up with a fair. 
Okay, I like the pressure from his dash dance. There's just so much you can do with just movement alone in this game. Zane again. <laughs> per usual, sitting in the corner. Nice shine turnaround bear. Oh, burns him oh, a little bit. so good. So clutch. I like that. I love it. I love it. Burns him just a little bit, forces him to go a little bit lower, and he still has that edge invincibility from refreshing. Just kills him that way, too. Swats him out the air. Oh, and nice. still no jump, and I don't know what you're Whoa. doing. That could have that could have been dead Zane. If Crush had gotten the right angle and gotten there, that could have been a, an ex serious overextension. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Dead. Make a Wish Foundation comes in clutch <laughs> once again. That'll be another donation going out. I support oh. everything they do, but Jesus. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the Zane edge guarding we're expecting. That's the. I will swallow you whole. The gusto. And Battlefield again, Crush just refusing to go anywhere else, which I personally think is a little bit of a mistake. I don't think Dreamland is the right choice, granted how good Zane is on that stage, but maybe like a Pokemon. Yeah, he definitely you know has options to play with, but I don't know, Crush has done this before in the past where he's a little uh, uh, hard-headed about you know his counter pick options. Just, hey, I can definitely just beat you with my fundamentals yeah. and gameplay alone. Why switch it up if I just know I need to play a little bit better, keep everything a little more solid, and just play everything a little more tighter? Yeah. That's a good, that's a very good point. Is he going to keep it tight enough? That's what we're all wondering. Or is he going to be sent to the loser's bracket real quick? Oh, he tried to get the pivot F smash. A little bit off. Oh, he's so good at just... Oh. <laughs> turn, turn off the stream. Just turn the stream off, Carter. Eric, just turn it off after that. How Are you kidding me? He just... <laughs> all right. All right, cool. Cool, and cool. we back. Yeah, we're back. It's <laughs> even up. We got a new game here. We're playing three stocks. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Had a quick rule set change. I mean, Crush just... I don't even know how to describe that. It was bad. He got walloped. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, we're moving on. He's going to just really shake it off, you know, keeping it close, keeping it even, doing everything in his best power to keep this as competitive as he can. But Zayn is just swinging. Yeah, he's hitbox after hitbox after hitbox. Oh, he tried to fair, but he actually got caught on the platform. He accidentally, no impact, landed, and he lost the stock for it. Wow. Talk about all the, the silly things that can happen in this game, yeah. man. Like, how can you expect that to be the one tech thing that you mess up? Now Crush on a warpath. Oh, oh my oh, goodness, oh. Crush. Crush, oh, please. Zane's gone. That stock is absolutely deleted. Crush took what seemed to be one small mistake and was able to snowball that into a devastating lead for himself. Oh, just a little bit misspaced. Oh and he goes, God. wow, no fear. Just comes barreling in. And honestly, but again, if you're Zane, it's, yes, you're getting destroyed, but you have two chances at FD, right? You're, you're feeling okay. All right. Uh, with the, pretty much everything. And there that's dead, okay. Marth. Cool. So, you know, after trying it out three times, the third time is indeed the charm. Crush <laughs> able to seal it out on Battlefield, but he does have to deal with, as you said, two FD counterpicks. And judging from what I saw from Zayn earlier, I don't know, man. Yeah, he'll, this is his domain. This is his Coliseum. You want to come in here and get a win over Zayn, you have to beat him here. Okay. No grab just yet. As I say it, whoop, there's the curse. What do you got, Zane? I was gonna say, you just gotta do your boy like that. Ooh, what else? Oh, he tried to get the grab a little early. Keeps it going. What conversion you got? What edge guard? Okay. So he gets 99% off yeah. of that one grab, essentially. That kind of happens, right? As long as they don't convert into the kill, you can still just kind of keep finessing your way with your stock. Yeah, and again, Crush is happy with this. He's okay being at 107, just because Zane is not gonna have any serious kill move other than just getting like a Randy F smash. Exactly. Ooh. That's not gonna kill. Nope. Okay, yeah, Crush keeps doing these. Firefox is really high, gets hit by a weak board there, and he's able to recover because of it, and now, Wow, I love yeah. I love the way he like works these situations that are bad for him to something positive. He's so quick on his feet. Yeah, that was great just reaction too. Not still not enough. When the trade, he's gonna be able to come back. Okay. 
Yeah, there it is. Again, a little bit too close to the stage for Crush to use that up B, and Zane easily just goes out there and back airs. And now he's back, starting off with a pretty strong down air, throwing up the down of course, to space around the short hop there. Oh my god. It's so hard. Who's the king of dashback? They're basically both like dashback <laughs> champions. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's the zero to death. There it is. That's exactly what you don't want to happen. Now he's essentially, <laughs> you know, it's, there's only so much crush can do from this point forward. Just has to finesse with what he has left. Oh my gosh. His oh. dash dance is just completely on another planet. Oh, oh. my. <laughs> Speaking of stock deletions, see and ever. Yeah, goodbye. That DI not ready at all. Wasn't sure where he can get sent. No, maybe oh something more. Jesus, what? He, just, he literally pulls these dash backs out of nowhere. And this is the kind of thing where, you know, Crush is a very good player, right? Like, it's like, oh, if they're dashing back, overshoot your aerials. He's overshooting his aerials, but Zane yeah. is just that much more aware to go back even further. Yeah. And Zane now so close to getting his spot in winner's finals locked up. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. Grants, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that's the message. You're just like, all right, Crush, see you in Grants. Yeah, so, I mean, God that damn. means, you know, Crush sitting pretty in loser's finals. Um... Dreffen, of course, still waiting in the wings and losers. And, of course, who is the last Smuckers. remaining? Smucks. So we got Dreffen and Captain Smuckers in loser semis, which I really don't